my friends, here I am again, and today we are going to work in another Mexican basic. Today I'm going to prepare for you salsa roja, red sauce. Yes, because we already have the green sauce and many other different sauces that are extraordinary to be part of your everyday in life. So this red sauce is perfect for your eggs in the morning, again for your tacos, for your enchiladas, for your quesadillas, sopes, tlacoyos, layudas, and all that Mexican things that we all love. So let's see what we need for this wonderful salsa roja. As usual, I'm going to leave you the list of ingredients at the end of the video. But anyway, you know how much I love to show you each of them because there's always something to say about them. For example, this time we are going to use one pound of tomatoes. We are going to use the half of a big white onion. If your onion is little, then you use the whole thing. We need two cloves of garlic. This time I want our sauce very spicy. Because of that, today I'm going to use three serrano peppers with seeds and veins. So it's going to be very spicy. Two chipotle peppers only a teaspoon of dehydrated cilantro because if we put more and it's fresh then our sauce turns green and we don't want that we are making red so the use of a half of a lime because these limes are super juicy so no more than one tablespoon of lime juice a cheeky bit of salt and a little touch of black pepper let's start and once again we are going to roast all our ingredients before we blend them because the flavor is completely different. So let's do it! Once again, we want our ingredients very well roasted. And look, you see the peppers? In Mexico, when we roast our peppers this way, we call them chiles toreados. You wonder why? Of course, that makes the peppers to be a little more spicy. Or at least, that is what everybody believes. Now, as you can see, all my ingredients are roasted, so I'm going to take them out of the fire. And again, we are going to put all our ingredients in the blender. It doesn't matter the order, just put them there and make them shake. Don't forget the lime juice. We are not going to use water, just the juice of our tomatoes, because we want it thick. So let's do it. The touch of pepper and the cheeky bit of salt. Let's blend them. And voila! Our red sauce is ready! So now I'm going to put it in a bowl so you can check out what a delicious and extraordinary texture of our red sauce. Just check it out. Look at this, my friends. This is what I call perfection. It is chunky, it's red, and you can smell the heat of the spice in it. Just perfect. Just take a look on it. Isn't it delicious? Don't you want to taste it right now? Let's do it! It's time to enjoy our creation. So, of course, I always have a quesadilla handy to taste what we did. I'm drooling. Look at this. Chunks of flavor. <laughs> and here it is. A humble quesadilla with our super geomalicious and spectacularicious salsa roja. Do you want to taste? Well, I do. So, let's do it. Mm. 
Chipotle peppers is all over my mouth now. It's very spicy, but it's really, really very tasty. Mmm. You know what I'm going to have for breakfast tomorrow? Two over easy eggs on top of a tortilla. And then, on top of all that, some of these spectacular sauce. And I'm going to eat them like tacos. Mmm. That is going to be the perfect breakfast, my friends. And once again, this is all for today, my friends. Thank you very, very much for your time. If you like this video, give me a like in my YouTube channel. Click the red button that says subscribe, just so you can get all my videos. And please, please, please share with your friends. Let's make this channel get into everybody's heart so we can all eat Mexican food and have a wonderful life. My name is Victoria, and I send you a kiss from the biggest part of my heart. Adios.